This video is the user guide video for Android registration client. In this video, I will be showcasing two features. First one is operator or supervisor login. And the second feature that I'll showcase is the end to end flow of new registration. Now I'll go ahead and launch Android registration client by clicking on the registration client icon on my tablet. As we can see on this screen, Android registration client has been launched and here I'm supposed to choose a language from the drop down. This language is the display language and this has to be based on the preference of the operator. Our next thing that I have to input is the username. So I'll go ahead and enter the username. And then I'll click on next button. I got a prompt saying user validated. So I can now go ahead and enter the password. And I'll click on login button. As you can see on the screen now, I have been successfully logged in. As it as you can see at the top right corner of the screen, the username that I entered can be seen which is 6262 in this case. Now I'll go ahead and click on new registration. The first thing that I have to do here is to select the language. This language is the data entry language. Here we can see that English is mandatory and we have two optional languages which are Arabic and French. This language has to be chosen um, by the, on the basis of the preference of the applicant. So for now, I'll go ahead and choose French. The moment I choose French, the submit button is enabled. Also, now the data that is being entered by the operator will be in two languages, English and French. So now I'll go ahead and click on submit. Now I've been taken to the consent screen where I'm supposed to choose. I have, I'm supposed to read the consent and accept it. This also has to be based on the applicant's um, preference in the sense if they accept the terms and conditions or not. Now that I've accepted the terms and conditions, the next thing that I'm supposed to do is to choose the language of notification from the drop down. So here we have three options. I'm going to go ahead and choose English. Notification language is a language that will be used to send the notification to the uh, applicant, the email notification. So now that I've chosen it, I'll go ahead and click on continue button. Yeah. Now from the top part of the screen, if you can see uh, from the breadcrumb, we are in the demographic details screen. Now I'll go ahead and quickly fill the form. All the attributes here that you see that are marked as um, that are mandatory has a red color asterisk symbol next to it, which indicates that the attribute is mandatory.
Now that I have filled all the mandatory attributes on demographic details screen, I'll go ahead and click on continue button. On clicking on continue button, I've been taken to the next uh, screen, which is the document upload screen. Here I'm supposed to choose the type of uh, document under a uh, proof of address. And then I am supposed to scan the um, document for the same. So I'll go ahead and click on select option here and choose from the drop down and I'll click on scan button uh, and then I'll click on stream and I'll click on capture once the image is captured I will click on save for it to be saved similarly I will do the same for proof of identity and proof of uh, date of birth I'll select from the drop down the type of document and then I'll click on scan and stream I'll capture the image and click on save button similarly for date of birth proof okay as you can see there are four types of uh, document upload that needs that we have to perform but out of which three are only uh, mandatory as you can see from the red asterisk symbol next to the attribute name the document name now that i've uploaded all the documents i can go ahead and click on continue button on clicking on continue button i have been taken to the next screen which is the biometric details screen here i'm supposed to capture uh, all of these um, biometric data so we'll start with the iris scan so I'll now click on the scan button in the middle of the screen okay since I have mock MDA set up in my system it is um, taking the values from there and iris is captured now I'll click on save button to save this okay next I'll go ahead and um, do the same for the hand I'll click on the scan button and let mock MTS do its job okay now that it is captured i'll click on save button yeah now i'll go ahead and do the same for rest of the modalities Okay. As we can see here um, in the left section of the screen, we can see the attributes, the modalities that have been captured successfully and one is still remaining. From the middle section of the screen, we can see the number of attempts that have been taken and the exceptions that we have, we have marked. It's zero for now. And the threshold that is 40% which is configurable. We can also see that for the first attempt, the quality score is 30%, which is not crossing the threshold, which is 40. That's why the um, in the bar, if you see, it's red color. But for now, we'll just go ahead and scan the photo as well. Okay. from the left side of the screen we can see that we have captured all the modalities now I just want to go back to say fingerprints and we can see we have just taken one attempt at each of these modalities now I'll just go ahead and um, scan it once more the fingerprint
okay i'll just go ahead and save it now okay so here we can see the number of attempts that we have taken is two in total we have three attempts this number three is also configurable we can have more or less um, a number of attempts than three um okay i can also mark exception if you can see it on the right side of the screen i have just i'm just saying that on the on my right hand i do not have the ring finger which is a permanent exception and we can click on and then we can click on continue button okay now that we are done filling the demographic details we have uploaded our document and we have also given our biometrics we have been taken to the preview page okay so this is the preview page where we can see all the data that we have entered our photo all the documents that we have uploaded and all the biometrics right so now i'll go ahead and click on continue button at this stage if we want to edit or any of these details we can go back to the um, previous screens let's say i want to change my um, name i can go to demographic details and change it and come back here again um, but for now we'll go ahead and click on continue um, now that i've clicked on continue uh, i'm supposed to enter my mm -hmm. i as an operator i'm supposed to enter my username again so i'll just go ahead and quickly do that Okay. now that i've entered the username and password i'll go ahead and click on authenticate yeah so now it has taken me to uh, the acknowledgement page where i can see all the details that i entered right from here we can go ahead and click on sync packet which essentially will sync all the packets and then we can upload the packets uploading of packet can only happen once uh, packet sync has happened at this stage the we cannot edit the application anymore and from here we can also print the acknowledgement page acknowledgement page also has the application id at the top left corner if you see right and um yeah that's about it so now i can just click on complete and i'll be taken to the home page so this was about new registration